Every day, in every corner of Berks County, community leaders and volunteers are committed to making our community a better place. The 2023 Wilbur H. Duran Award recognizes one of those very special people, Joanne Judge. Joanne Judge has an extensive background with United Way of Berks County. She began with us back in 1999. She was involved with community impact activities, and then we realized her amazing skill set and background, and we were able to recruit her to be involved in some leadership positions. We met on the YMCA Board of Directors doing community service, and that uh, <clears throat> we got to know each other and I don't know how long it took to uh, get acquainted, but we did get acquainted pretty rapidly. And we um, decided after three years of me bragging on her to do something about getting married. So it was a good thing. I kept up the pressure because it's 30 years later. Gracie belonged to Joanne's brother. He had Gracie. 12 years and uh, he ended up getting cancer and uh, gradually deteriorated over a long period of time. At the end, he asked us if we would take her. So we got her two years ago. She's 14 now and we, we love her. One of the great gifts of working with Joanne here at Tower was to hear her personal story. And many people don't know that Joanne was actually the CEO of a hospital before she became a lawyer. And at the ripe old age of 41, she went back to law school. And uh, the brilliance of a person who has lived the life and focused entirely on the laws surrounding health care is just outstanding. Um, so she not only makes a difference here for our Reading community, she makes a difference all over Pennsylvania in the health care arena. Well, Joanne's among the top healthcare lawyers in Pennsylvania. In fact, no other lawyer in the state combines her business acumen in the healthcare space with the creativity, experience, and work ethic that defines her. At Stevens and Lee, Joanne's a leader on our finance committee, a leader among our women lawyers, and a great mentor to our younger professionals. Joanne has a very strong commitment to giving opportunity to others. She mentors our younger lawyers and they strive to be like her. She's willing to teach and share her skills. She genuinely cares about others' advancement, and she takes great joy in seeing others achieve. Joanne is so calm, and no matter what we seem to throw her way, she would ask the right questions, she would help us think through, you know, what are the, the possible options, and every step of the way, she, she made sure that we, we knew it would be okay. And at the end of the day, with her help and support, we always made the right and best um, decisions for the community and for United Way. Joanne's very first board meeting with the United Way as, as the chair was on March the 25th, 2020. And because of what was happening related to COVID, the meeting was held virtually. Our very first, you know, all virtual meeting except for Joanne and a handful of staff and uh, maybe a volunteer or two. And that meeting was really important because that was the meeting we decided as an organization that we would establish a COVID-19 response fund to support this community. I quickly, you know, did a, a quick look back and in terms of Joanne's support during her tenure as board chair, you know, so we, we were um, navigating COVID. Uh, we received a Mackenzie Scott gift of $10 million. We um, adopted Leadership Burks and began to manage and hold our very first Leadership Burks class under the auspice of United Way in, in 2021. We signed a lease uh, for a, a new United Way location. Um, so, you know, Joanne had just such a, a, a huge impact in terms of her leadership. You just take one of those things and there's a, a great deal to think about and lead 
but you look at the extensive list that I just provided and know that, that Joanne um, was very involved and helped us to make important decisions through her two years as board chair. I admire really everything about Joanne. She's the most giving person that I have ever had the pleasure to work with. Uh, she works like a maniac, um, but she gives whatever is needed when it is needed. Uh, and I admire that so much about her. Uh, she doesn't complain and she's a huge volunteer. Uh, we know of the work she does here in the United Way, but think about all the other great things that she does all over this state and region. I met Joanne many years ago when I first interviewed for the Alvernia presidency. And now two decades later, Helen and I consider Joanne and Rick among our closest friends. She was a trustee almost my entire presidency and served as either the vice chair or chair for half of that time. Uh, she oversaw the enormous emphasis on academic excellence, the expansion of graduate and, and adult and doctoral education, uh, the development of the East Campus, uh, the gorgeous main entrance by Angelica Park, which Alvernia shares with Burke's Nature, uh, the Recreation um, Health and Wellness Center, uh, and also something that's not well known, uh, the creation of a sponsorship covenant with our Bernadine Franciscan sisters, which really strengthened Alvernia's uh, Franciscan identity. We're, we're so fortunate in Berks County to have many dedicated community volunteers who serve the United Way and the many other nonprofit organizations who are the lifeblood of our community uh, and make such big contributions to community well-being. What makes Joanne special is the contribution of her professional expertise, um, her generous philanthropy along with Rick, uh, and the fact that she is willing continually to step up and assume leadership positions on, on boards of trustees, uh, willing to assume responsibility, willing to work with the chief executive uh, to own major uh, decisions. Uh, I've been fortunate to work with hundreds of trustees uh, as a president, um, as a member of local and national boards, and as a consultant to dozens of private university boards. And I can say unequivocally, Joanne Judge is on the Mount Rushmore of trustees and board leaders. Joanne is a Duran Award recipient because she is the definition of leadership in the true sense of the word. Um, she, she listens. Uh, she provides uh, feedback. She is not shy at making a decision when it's necessary, but she makes informed decisions. She always uh, gets back to you. Um, and, and I would reach out to her in every form of communication, uh, email, text, phone calls, and I could always count on hearing back from her uh, before the end of the day. Um, so in, in, in every way, she is, is an amazing leader and so worthy of the Duran Award. Joanne is so deserving of this award, not only because of the commitment and time she has given to the United Way over many, many years, including serving as its chair during the pandemic, right? Very difficult times. Uh, but Joanne is so active in so many other things in the community behind the scenes. She's one of those quiet actors that makes everything work behind the scenes. Uh, and I'm forever grateful that I had the amazing pleasure to work with Joanne Judge and applaud her on winning the Duran Award. More than anything else, Joanne is deeply committed to the success of everything that she works on. I've always admired her and I've learned so much from her. Congratulations, Joanne, on this great award. Joanne, I could not think of a better person to be receiving the 2023 Duran Award. Your support and dedication to not only United Way, but of the entire Berks County community is par none. Your leadership, strategic thinking, and enthusiasm for the mission of this organization is noted in the many years of service that you provided to us. Your mentorship, as I assume the role of CFO at United Way, meant the world to me. Congratulations on receiving the 2023 Duran Award. You deserve it. We've gotten along pretty good, too, I'd say. And I'm proud of her.